Oh hey Raphaelitos, welcome back to season 4 of Raphael's Vlogs and coming at you with a little change, a little beard action for season 4 season 4 runs from December, from July to December so we're going to watch this beard grow from July to December and we're going to look at some of the issues in the oil and gas industry in Guyana in season 4 we'll just look at how Guyana grows and adapts to this new era, uh, the new wealth in the oil and gas sector so welcome to season four, Raphael's Vlogs. So guys, for this first for this first episode, I want to cover a couple of topics. Uh, one of them is the conflict between the green economy and uh, the oil and gas industry. Um, the second is the resource curse. I'm not going to get a chance to cover the resource curse in this episode, but in the next episode I'm going to talk about resource curse. For this episode I want to talk about the conflict between the green economy and environmental protection on the one hand, and on the other hand the oil and gas industry participation of Guyana. And the best, the best way to analyze this problem of a conflict between the, the creative tension, for example, or destructive tension between participating in the oil and gas industry and destroying the environment, on the other hand, is to look at the um, advantages and disadvantages. So let's count the advantages of being in the oil and gas industry. And I can list about five of them. First is money for development. So the first advantage of being involved in the oil and gas industry is that we have money for development of the country. Right? We'll be able to earn billions of dollars in foreign exchange just from uh, our cut, our percentage of the profits, the profit sharing agreement we have with ExxonMobil. The second is that we have a chance to participate in making the markets so we can be uh, part of the rule making, right? We'll be making some of the rules um, around trading oil and gas in the world. In fact, we, our oil and gas reserves are so large that we can become, we're about to become one of the largest oil producers per capita. So we're going to have a big say in the price of oil on the world market. Third is we're going to have a workforce that is forced to rise to the level of international standards. In other words, a lot of our participation in the oil and gas industry will depend on our meeting international standards as workers. Right? We're going to have to pass certain uh, levels of certain standards to be able to, to find approval, to be able to get approval for some of the contracts in the oil and gas industry. And that will force our workforce to rise to um, international standards. And fourth, our upgraded infrastructure. We will be forced to upgrade our roads, our um, hotels, our commercial real estate, our housing stock, and our airports. So the first example of that is now we have a new airport at Tamari, and we're probably going to have other airports built around the country just because we're forced to meet the demands of a higher level of productivity in the economy. And fifth is a new independence. So we're going to find a new stature, a new level of independence, a new level of pride and respect. So those are the five advantages I can see from participation in the oil and gas industry. On the other hand, the disadvantages, I can list five of them also. So the first is, we'll be contributing to global warming. Right, so the fact is that even though we might not consume any more oil than we do now because we're focusing on the green economy, on growing green economy, Still, because we're selling this oil, we're contributing to global warming. And that means the second point is that our carbon footprint will increase. Maybe we won't increase our carbon footprint significantly relative to the rest of the world, but because we are putting more oil into the world, into the oil mar markets, we're contributing to the um, increase in the carbon footprint elsewhere in the world. So we're, we can be held responsible. Thirdly, where's the, there's a disincentive to, um, to grow the green economy because if the money comes in so easily from oil and gas 
will be a, a tendency to rely on oil and gas industry rather than developing new industries. Fourth, there is the possibility that we'll be drawn into international conflict. And fifth is that we can become the targets for um, foreign interference in our local governments, as we can see happening in Venezuela and around. So I'm not about to give you an answer or to tell you whether in fact this is the right thing to do to participate in the oil and gas industry, but these are the advantages and disadvantages. I'd like to know what you think about the conflict between Guyana being involved in the oil and gas industry and Guyana being a green economy.